Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the most memorable video game intros that will stick with us for years. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Spanish Village, Resident Evil 4. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. When it comes to Resident Evil, Capcom usually knows how to grab your attention pretty quickly. The fourth game opens with Leon Kennedy being escorted by two zombie fighter agents while in search of the president's missing daughter. But after venturing into a small village, he's attacked by its extremely aggressive denizens. The enemies being more human, at least in this opening chapter, makes the encounter a bit more vicious as they swarm Leon with scythes, axes, and pitchforks. Of course, then the guy with the chainsaw shows up and the panic really sets in. Resident Evil 4 revolutionized the franchise's formula, and the tense intro made a fantastic first impression. The Assault on Mount Olympus God of War 3. Zeus! Your son has returned. I bring the destruction of Olympus! God of War 2 ended on a cliffhanger that its follow-up more than delivered on. With the Titans on his side, Kratos scaled Mount Olympus with a singular goal in mind. Kill Zeus and anyone protecting him. It certainly made for a bombastic intro, with legions of soldiers being sent to die at the ends of Kratos' blades but Sony really turned up the heat with the opening boss fight against Poseidon. As is befitting of the God of the Sea, the battle makes for a huge, impressive set piece. The direction, the mechanics, the visuals, the music, everything hits perfectly. And it culminates in a brutal beatdown, promising that this was Kratos at his most savage. A Stormy Night, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. Metal Gear Solid was always at the forefront for injecting cinematic flair into its video game world. For us, it's the intro to Sons of Liberty that really nails this mentality. We see a hooded figure walk across the George Washington Bridge, before cloaking themselves and diving slow-mo onto a passing tanker. This, of course, is Snake, given one of the coolest character reintroductions we've ever seen. As the first entry on the brand new PS2, these visuals blew the minds of every player. More than that, navigating the tanker and taking out enemies as stealthily as possible was a strong evolution of gameplay that made the original MGS so engaging in the first place. The opening attack, Mass Effect 2. Brace for evasive maneuvers! It isn't often a game opens with the death of the lead character. While out patrolling space, the Normandy and its crew are ruthlessly attacked, sending everyone running for the escape pods. Commander Shepard, the player's customizable hero, is able to get Joker to safety right before the ship is completely torn apart, then dying due to a breach in their suit. Naturally, Bioware never intended to keep Shepard dead, and they're revived two years later when the game actually begins. However, that doesn't stop this from being an impactful opening. The attack signaled a huge shift in the Mass Effect world and got our hearts racing. The arrival of the Mongols, Ghost of Tsushima. Courage, honor, they are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. Going into Ghost of Tsushima, you know Jin Sakai will be a lone samurai trying to rescue his home from the invading Mongols. Still, Sucker Punch made the game's inciting incident one of staggering beauty and ferocity. Things don't look good from the jump, with the unceremonious death of one Lord Adachi and Tsushima's forces vastly outnumbered. Riding our horses into the fray before going on foot, it felt like going up against an insurmountable force despite this being the tutorial, because that's what it was. Jin's allies drop all around him, leaving him badly wounded and alone. It radicalizes him to do what's necessary for the rest of the game, while at the same time getting us excited for a blood-soaked tale of justice. Uncle. Okay. 
the Shinra Reactor, Final Fantasy VII. The launch of the original PlayStation was a huge turning point in gaming history, being a gigantic leap forward in visuals and gameplay. This is showcased profoundly in Final Fantasy VII, right from the beginning. We watch as members of Avalanche exit a train, dealing with guards on their way to a massive reactor. The polygonal character designs and the pre-rendered backgrounds for its environment were extremely impressive at the time. Additionally, infiltrating one of Shinra's reactors to blow it up was a genuine blast from start to finish. We all knew we were looking at the next step forward in video games, and it will likely remain iconic for all time. Trainwreck, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Starting in media's res can risk alienating a player or viewer. Thankfully, Naughty Dog executed it flawlessly in Uncharted 2. As hero Nathan Drake comes to, we find him wounded, strapped into a train car that's dangling over a cliffside. We instantly want to know how he got there, but there's little time to think before it's time to escape. Climbing out of this wreckage is nothing if not suspenseful, forcing you to tighten your grip as Drake narrowly avoids death. With every close call and leap to safety, the camera gracefully follows to capture the fearful situation. Uncharted is known for its spectacular set pieces, and this opening remains one of its best. The Great Plateau, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Link, you are the light, our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Among the many things Breath of the Wild was praised for was the feeling of freedom it offered players. Here was an open world game that rewarded curiosity without littering your map with icons like a glorified checklist. And its opening serves as a promise to that design. As Link awakens a century after Hyrule's fall, the outside world almost beckons you to exit and explore. This moment is one of pure art. Providing a gorgeous vista of the Great Plateau and a title card drop that brought lumps to the throats of Zelda fans everywhere. It was all we could do to stop ourselves from running in every direction, so alluring was the wild of Hyrule. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. The Death of Innocence. The Last of Us. Sarah. Something this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. In one of the biggest gut punches in gaming, this opening sequence made us acutely aware of Joel's mental state heading into The Last of Us. It begins innocently enough, with the protagonist meekly celebrating his birthday with his daughter. Of course, then all hell breaks loose, with the cordyceps fungus infecting most people on the planet. As Sarah, it's completely harrowing as Joel and his brother Tommy try to reach safety, which goes about as south as it can. The transition to playing as Joel following a car crash throws you into the action as the infected swarm. Tragically, a soldier's orders lead to Sarah's death, and as she takes her last breath in Joel's arms, it's hard not to be impressed by the stunning writing, direction, and acting here. I chose Rapture, Bioshock. I chose Rapture. It's remarkable that all these years later, this sequence still gives us goosebumps. Players begin on a plane mid-flight before waking in the ocean after its crash. With nothing but a lighthouse around you, you're naturally drawn inside, where a giant golden bust of one Andrew Ryan greets you. Descending into the sea below, a recording of Ryan tells you his dream of an underwater utopia, before the curtain is pulled back, revealing Rapture in all its corrupt glory. In one haunting sequence, the villain and setting are beautifully introduced, making us crave more information on both of them. And as we step into the city, with its inhabitants promising violence and fear, it's apparent that you've begun something special. Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? What video game has your favorite opening? What will you do, father? You can no longer hide behind the skirts of Athena. 
Athena is dead because of the rage that consumes you, Kratos. Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great gaming videos every day.